Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now today we're going to be looking at the HD 5870 versus the GTX 480. Now you may remember we've looked at the uh, 5870 before. This is of course the first DirectX 11 graphics card and today I thought we'd pit it against the 480 which is the first DirectX 11 graphics card from Nvidia. So we've got an old school AMD versus Nvidia battle here today. Now usually this is the part where I show you a bit of both of the cards a few fancy shots, things like that, but I want to save that until the next video because I've actually got the GTX 480 in SLI coming up. Someone said I should build a nuclear reactor and so that is exactly what I've done. Let me tell you, these 480s are extremely power hungry, very, very loud. And they're just all round insane, but they're actually still pretty good cards, even to this day. And the same goes for the 5870. So which one, if any, is still worth buying in 2017? Well, let's take a look. Now, as you'll see throughout here, both cards are still very capable in a gaming system today, despite their age and can be found quite cheaply. First up, we've got Crisis 3, which on the 480 runs 60 frames per second on average with the low settings, which we've used throughout. And the 5870 runs at 43, not a bad start. Next up it's Fallout 4, again with the low settings, we will be using those settings throughout. Um, the 480 here runs at 49 frames per second, equivalent to roughly a 750 Ti as a modern standard. And the 5870 runs at 53, but this is probably the only time you'll see it overtake the GTX 480 throughout these tests. Next up it's Just Cause 3, a very nice looking game graphics wise. I wanted to pick games here that would test these GPUs to their limits and we really didn't need to test many games in order to see what these cards are capable of. The 480 once again coming out on top here but the 5870 does put up a very strong fight when it comes to this game. So it's pretty clear that both of these cards do still have a lot of life left in them and as we move on to GTA 5 the 480 once again takes a lead with 73 and the 5870 falls ever so slightly behind with the mid 60s there in terms of an average frame rate. I will be testing more games in the future though especially when I SLI these beasts. So there we have it, as I mentioned at the start I wanted to save the fancy shots and things for a couple of videos down the line because I already have them now in a system, um, the 5870 has gone into an AMD based system and the 480 has joined another 480 in SLI in what I can only describe as something that sounds like a jet plane. It is an insane build coming up very soon, but I hope you've enjoyed today's video, an old school comparison between the 5870 and the GTX 480 to what are, in my opinion, still pretty decent cards. So as always, guys, if you liked it, leave a like down below. If you didn't, leave a dislike, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this one in the future. And as always, I hope to see you all in the next one.